This video will describe a new AC-powered AccuPath laser beam. The AccuPath laser beam is designed to mount on a top blade guard in your bandsaw and then project a red laser line down the length of the bandsaw blade and then project the path of the bandsaw blade through the material being cut. The original AccuPath bandsaw laser includes a red line laser module, an aluminum L-bracket mounting plate, two strong magnets to attach this bracket to the blade guide on your bandsaw, and a battery pack. The battery pack holds two AA batteries and also includes an on-off switch to turn the laser off and on. The AccuPath bandsaw laser was originally designed for use with the AccuWedge and the AccuSlot systems to project the path of the bandsaw blade to accurately position the cuts to be made on the bandsaw. There is also a safety device projecting a red laser line for the projected path of the bandsaw blade to the material being cut in order to help keep your hands out of the path of the bandsaw blade. Normally the batteries in the AccuPath will last several months with normal use. However, if you forget to turn them off over a long weekend or an extended period of time, the batteries will go dead and will need to be replaced. We're now introducing this new AccuPath bandsaw laser system with a 5 volt DC power supply that just plugs into a standard AC outlet. The new AccuPath system includes the same red line laser module, the L bracket mounting plate, and two strong magnets that were used in the original AccuPath system. The battery pack has been replaced with a 5 volt 1 amp power supply that plugs into a standard AC outlet. It can be powered from 110 to 240 volts. A switch plug is used to switch the laser off and on. The system mounts on the bandsaw in the same manner as the original AccuPath system, attaching it to the top blade guide on the bandsaw and then adjusting the laser beam to project down the teeth of the blade and then projecting the straight path on the board being cut. The power supply plugs into the AC outlet and the quarter is positioned to keep it free from the bandsaw blade and not in the way of any of the boards being cut. I normally secure the cord by just using some electrical or duct tape to attach it to the top blade guide and I make sure the blade guide can still be easily opened and closed. The laser can be turned off in any one of three different methods. First of all, you can just unplug the power supply from the AC power supply. Next, you can unplug the connector that connects the laser to the power supply. The third option is to use one of these uh, plug switches to plug into the AC outlet and has a switch to turn the system on and off. On some models of bandsaws, a power source is available that can automatically turn off the laser when a bandsaw is turned off. However, this is not universally available or even desirable because you may probably want the laser beam projecting when setting up the system. Yeah, I'm installing this new AccuPath laser beam for the bandsaw. Instead of using the battery pack like our previous system used, it uses a, an AC powered supply that converts it to a 5 volts DC. And so this just plugs into this connector here, and then this plugs into a 110 outlet, which in this case is actually on the opposite side of my bandsaw. The power supply is plugged into the switch plug on the side of the bandsaw. And I adjust it such that my laser beam runs right down the entire length of my bandsaw blade and then projects out parallel to the cut. And I can use my sled here as a guide just to, uh, to show the actual path of that laser beam. So this uh, power supply is actually 5 volts or a battery pack that has two 1.5 volt uh, batteries in here. And by being a little bit uh, more powerful, it is a little bit stronger. I don't know if you'll be able to see it in here, but it is a slightly more powerful laser beam. You see on that board there, it is a little bit, a little bit stronger intensity than the uh, battery pack. So the main advantage of it is there's no batteries replaced. So, you know, at times I forgot to turn this off, and over a long weekend the batteries go dead. And what I want to do first of all is get this cord out of the way so that it. Uh, doesn't interfere with anything, but yet I can still open my door. So I'm doing that. I got some just some black electrical tape and just tape this up to this side of my housing. I'll leave enough slack that I can unplug it easily. So I'll be able to swing my door open. Won't interfere with anything. And I can unplug.
until I get to turn it off and on. So that's it. So I won't be using my battery pack anymore. Uh, the battery pack is nice. It's a, you don't need a, an AC power supply to use it. Uh, it does have an on-off switch, and I've used it for years. It works quite quite well. This is just great because I don't have to worry about you know forgetting to turn it off. This concludes a short video on the introduction of the new AC powered version of our AccuPath bandsaw laser system. For additional details on both the AC version of the AccuPath system as well as the standard battery pack version of the AccuPath bandsaw laser system, please visit the AccuPath webpages on our website. The standard version of the AccuPath bandsaw laser system is part number AS410. This new AC powered version of the AccuPath bandsaw laser system is part number AS412. 412. Both of these units are in stock for immediate delivery. If you have any questions or concerns or comments on this video, please give us a call or drop us an email. We're happy to hear from you. And once again, thank you for watching this video.